the recording, yeah. Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my third look in my Ever After High series, and this one is Madeline Hatter, the daughter of the Mad Hatter, and this one I'm really excited for because when these dolls comes out, this is the doll I'm going to buy. So this is a look, it's just purple and white and teal because her colors, her eye colors are purples, like raven but her hair is what I love about her it's blue and this like maroony purple color and I love it so yeah let's get started first of course priming my eyes I'm using the jumbo eye pencil like I always do and I need to sharpen it and I'm going to use a ton of this I'm just gonna pretty much draw it on my eye today just somewhat blended in and out but try to keep a lot of it in because keeping the color on has been very difficult with this. Okay, so the eyeshadows I'm using, I am using a Wet n Wild Color Icon Trio in this, the one I used for my Raven Queen one, it's the I'm Feeling Retro one. I love this one. I bought it. I got a coupon for $3 off of anything really and it was just a $3 coupon so I had $3 spent so I bought this and I really love these colors so yeah so I'm going to put this on my lid without dropping my eyeshadow put it all over the lid just pat it down a little bit into the crease but mostly on the lid and oddly enough the color how I have them on is actually how they're done in the the trio. Next I'm going to use this blue color and this brush that I've got from Forever 21 forever ago and I'm going to put this literally just straight line in the or kind of straight line following the curve of my eye in the crease. Just try to get it is a good line and yes it looks very blunt this one I get a little bit more but I'm going to blend it in with the this flat shadow brush I just realized that pretty much all the looks I've done are almost $20 makeup look challenge looks minus that they're not $20 or a whole look so next I'm going to use this white color and just put it all over here. Blend in a little. Add a little bit more of this purple color to my lid. And add a little bit more of the blue. I'm going to use the Fim shadow brush and just gently put it in. And so I'll have some of that purple on. And there we go. Okay. Next, I'm going to use a liquid eyeliner, my Mark on the Edge liquid liner in Cleo. And line my upper lash line. Ooh, that line turned out really good. We'll wink it out just a bit. Okay. And I'm going to use this mini glimmer stick eyeliner in blue. It's just this really pretty matte blue. I'll show y'all. And I'm going to use this in my waterline. And if you wonder why I'm facing this way, it's because the mirror is literally right behind the camera. So that I could see if it was filming. And get this all over your waterline. And a little bit into your lower lash line. And you really can't tell, but I love this blue. I've never really used it either. Next, I'm going to use my Rimmel Lash Accelerant um, Endless Mascara. 
And that's the first time I've actually said it all the way through without stuttering this time. Or somewhat stuttering. I put it on my lower lashes. And I tried putting fake lashes on with this. It did not work at all. So, there's no lashes. Now I'm using my e.l.f. eye lash curler and curling my eyelashes. There we go. And last but not least, I'm using my Baby Lips Lip Balm and Pink Punch, which is literally my favorite one. And I love the smell of these. These are the only chapstick lip balm things that have scent really anymore, I think. Get you some pink lip. It's a very bold pink lip, but I love this one. So that's the look for Madeline Hatter. And the next one I'm going to do will be Briar Beauty, but there's something I'm going to go get before I do that one. So watch for that one next week or maybe sometime this weekend. Um, subscribe, comment below for any looks you think you want to see, and hope to see you. Hope for you to watch my videos again. Bye.